whether it's a movie a novel a thesis or a research article a good ending or conclusion is always anticipated and loved by the audience hello and welcome to a new video of explore by on research and publishing most students and researchers often get confused among an abstract a summary and a conclusion i have already uploaded a video on difference between abstract and a summary and today you will learn about what a conclusion is what is its importance how to write a perfect conclusion and at last i will mention what not to be included in a conclusion a mistake that most of the students and researchers make before learning anything about conclusion it is important to know what is the purpose of writing it finding a purpose in any area you are working on keeps you motivated to give your 100% to it the main purpose of a conclusion is reinforcing the main idea of the thesis or research paper it helps the readers to refocus on the major points of the manuscript it lays a foundation for subsequent research it offers the readers to get new ideas from your work that can be implemented for their research work but what is a conclusion if you believe a conclusion is a summarization of article or an essay or a research paper then i tell you it is not a conclusion is a last paragraph or maybe two of the article or thesis that provides your final impression about the whole work and wrap up your final thoughts about the topic now let's quickly learn how to write a conclusion you begin your conclusion restating the central idea of your whole work This should define the purpose of your research or study. In the next few lines, provide a clear and concise picture of how your work accomplished the problem raised or bridged the gap in the knowledge that you initially mentioned in the introduction section of your article or thesis. Next, mention one or two outcomes or inferences from your work that you find most important. You can also highlight what was lacking in your study or what question could not be answered. Closing sentence should wrap up with a motivation for further study or a call to action. A statement that leaves your audience with something to think about. Now some of the major mistakes to be avoided while writing a conclusion. In a conclusion, do not write anything that is different from the central topic that you did not discuss in other sections of your manuscript, else it will keep the audience wondering what you are talking about. At the same time, avoid repeating the same things you mentioned in the introduction, discussion and other sections again and again. Rather, you should rethink and resynthesize in a manner that all the points mentioned in a conclusion feels coherent and connected. Methods and discussions are a complete no to be mentioned in a conclusion. Rather, the focus should be more on the inferences, insights, and implications of your study. Claim only what you actually found without overgeneralizing or overexaggerating. I suggest you to go through conclusions of a few good quality research papers or reviews to get a feel of how a conclusion actually looks like. So that's all for today. I hope this video will help you writing a great conclusion next time. If you are interested in research and publishing, I highly recommend you to check out my playlist on it. I have uploaded a series of videos right from choosing a research topic, writing a research paper, a review, research proposal, synopsis, abstract, finding a suitable journal for publishing, checking plagiarism, managing references, and lot more. If you have any queries or requests, do comment or email me at explorebio@yahoo.com. Thanks and see you in my next video.